Absolutely. makers are going to be offering big deals on two per yeah. in two particular months. That's yes. when you want to buy a car. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry. Hey, Anna. May I point out that English is her first language? <laughs> I don't want to hear it anymore. Sabe? Se acabó. I'm so no sorry. I can't speak because it's my second language. No more. Welcome to Scares. For over 20 years, they have been providing free textbooks, storybooks, school supplies this is the best for one so teachers far. that need them all over the world, including our very own state of Illinois. Another important component of Scares here in Glen Ellen is that they teach kids all about sustainability, recycling, and so on. I'm here with Scares founder Kay. We're composting. Yes, with worms. I love my worms early in the morning. Yep, they oh, are what such a do? great crew. We have our red wiggler worms right here. And you can see that they have finished all the food that we fed them last week. Everything is gone. So today we brought them cantaloupe rinds and we brought them corn on the cob. And we're going to cover this up so I have to congratulate you place. because this is the first time this summer that compost doesn't stink. It doesn't stink. In all stink. these st segments that I've done. <laughs> I appreciate it. Let's move on to yes. the crayon making. And you could do this at home easily. We do oh, this yeah. often. This I really like because it's a way to recycle your crayons. Yes. My kid breaks them all the time. Yes, and you know, people don't know that crayons are made out of oil, and oil is very expensive and very precious and so very limited. So is this a crockpot? What is it? It sure is. Okay, and what happens in there? You, you, you throw in the broken, broken crayons. crayons. The broken crayons are sorted by color, dumped in there, melted, and then Sandy, our crayon extraordinaire volunteer, makes them into fabulous shapes for kids with all kinds of disabilities. All right, Kay, I'm not that great at writing bites, but I, you said I can make energy by writing riding this bike? Tell me you about sure it. sure can. Mm -hmm. How many lights do you have in your bedroom, Anna? Two. Two lights. So now these bul bul bulbs are 12 volts. So if you're giving us 12 volts, you've got one very nice... Oh, my gosh. You've got... Now, that's just two bulbs. What if you had more bulbs in your bedroom, hey. Anna? Oh, my gosh. Well, oh, hey. oh, my gosh. It's like going straight up a hill, right? So it's really, really hard with those incandescent bulbs. So instead, uh -huh. instead it's going to get really easy. Oh. Now we've got the compact fluorescence. Well, this gets the message across because this became a lot lighter now. A lot lighter. And then the new LED bulbs that use almost no power at all. All right, Kate. When we come back, we'll tell folks more about what you do here with textbooks and school supplies and how they can help. We're at Scarce in Glen Ellen. Back to you. Thanks, Adam. Top stories coming up next.